All right, y'all. This like this is like wow, fam. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me again, bro? Again? So if y'all haven't y'all haven't heard or whatever, the rapper Mystical. Mystical has been arrested on multiple charges, including first degree rape, false imprisonment, simple robbery, and more. And he will be held without bond following his Sunday arrest for the rape. Now, Michael Tyler found. At this point, I'm not trying to hear you didn't do it. I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. I ain't trying to hear it wasn't you. They trying to set you up. Fam, this is your third time getting accused of rape. This is your, uh, like getting like arrested for rape. Your third time. What the hell is going on? If you didn't do it, you got to let me know what's going on. Why the hell are you getting targeted for rape? Come on, man. And they not just picking mystical out the line. They just, ain't nobody just trying to pick mystical out to get charged with rape. They ain't choosing mystical. If anybody, if there's anybody to accuse, to choose, to try to target, to get some money or so on and so forth, mystical ain't the one they picking. So it's where I'm a firm believer in, yes, people lie, but where there is smoke, there is some fire. And this is the third time. So it's letting me know you got some predatory ways about you, bro. You are a predator. For real. I'm not trying to hear you didn't do it. This is foul, bro. This is foul. Again, you're being charged with raping a woman. Again. Again, this is the third time he's been accused of something like this. He's been arrested for something like this. Um, he was released back in like, no, yeah, back in 2019 after posting a $3 million bond, which was possible at the time he was able to post that bond because he had just signed a record deal recently, right? Then the following year, the rape charges had been, uh, the rape, excuse me, the rape charges he was facing, he was facing had been dropped due to lack of evidence. Now, come on, man. Like, mystical. Like, this is predatory behavior. You got a problem. Something wrong with you. At this point, they need to build the jail around your ass. Keep you in there. Because it's not adding up, bro. It's not adding up. You know what I mean? Because, again, why are they targeting you of all people? Why do you keep finding yourself in these situations? This shit don't make sense. I would have thought that after you got out of jail the first time, you would never find yourself in a situation. Even if you about to have a sexual encounter with a woman, you probably would. I would assume you would probably make her sign an NDA or something like that to where you would never be in a situation again. I would think that a person who's been accused of rape before, been in prison for rape, would never want to be in a situation again. Again, when you go to jail and you got a rape jacket on you, not a physical jacket, but you know what I mean? When you got rape charges on your name in jail, from what I've heard from some of my people that I know that have been in prison, that's not a good look, fam. You not looked at as respectable. You not looked at as a guy that you should be like around or none of that shit, regardless of your status. So what the fuck? Like, what is going on? You know what I mean? Like, he not, he not a megastar no more for people to just be trying to accuse him and target him. You, you got to keep his ass now. Because he is a serial offender. He's a serial offender. He don't understand a word no. And since you don't understand a word no, your ass got to sit up in here. You got to sit in here. Because fam, three, come on, man. Everybody ain't just lying on you all the time, bro. No, no, we not going to take that. You need to get them years R. Kelly got at this point. Because what is going on, brother? You keep women keep saying that you are forcing yourself on them. What are you doing? Like, he don't understand. No, like, come on, fam. This is sick shit. This is sick, man. Like, you know, and again, I don't always want to just accuse people when they get accused of rape. Oh, he did it. He did it. He did it. But it's just something. It's like, fam, this is like the third time. Like, I, I don't, and I, 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 man, bro, like, come on, man. Like, this is the third documented time. So just imagine what we don't know. It's probably some stuff we don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Because some people just didn't come out or come forward. Like, what you got going on, bro? Like, it's just, man, this is sick. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Every crime he get charged with is always rape. Always. When he go to jail, like I've heard, I've heard of repeat offenders. People that sell drugs. They go to, they go, um, when, as soon as they get out of jail, they be free for a few months. They go right back to jail for selling drugs again, right? You know, recidivism. We see it time and time again. Some brothers, they go to jail for something. They go, they get out, they do something else. He's a repeat offender in the, in the same, in the sense of the word. He keeps re, uh, repeating, like, rape. 
it's always rape. You getting charged with something is going on. Like this ain't just no all the women lying on you all the time. Like he's sick in the head. Cause why do you keep shoot? Like why do you keep finding yourself in these situations? You gotta understand, no mean no, fam. It's something ain't right. Even in the mug shot, he looking crazy in there. He looking weird and crazy. Like he did. Like he looking shiesty in there, bro. Like bro, what are you? Come on, fam. And I always hear people say, you know what? Uh, such and such this person is this. They, you know, they mega successful. Girls will talk to him. It's a lot of dudes that girls will talk to all the time that do stuff like this. Because sometimes rape is about power. Sometimes dude just can't imagine a woman turning him down. So they take it upon themselves to take what they want. And that shit is foul. It's disgusting. So it's like, I don't like, man, bro. You know, people are guilty until proven innocent. But it's like, fam, why do they? I don't know, man. It's just, it just seems highly unlikely and just super odd that people would try to target mystical of all people. You know, like somebody got to be telling the truth. Somebody got to be telling the truth in this because this is predatory behavior. This is some predator stuff. Predator type stuff. You know, he keep getting out of jail. Rappers keep embracing him, forgiving him. Oh, man, I know I didn't do it, child. I didn't do it. So they bring him out on a set. He perform on a musical set. Everybody, oh, mystical, we all are partying. We love him because we love the music, right? We love the songs. And so he get, he get embraced once again after a rapper brings him on stage and everybody be like, oh, we love Mystical. We love Mystical. We see the we see the little Help the Bear, little, <laughs> the freestyle or whatever on, on, on uh, I think it was, who was it? Was it Sway or something like that he did it on? And everybody laugh at it and everybody enjoy his musical, his rapping style because it sounds like a, a, a hood James Brown or whatever rapping, or rapping James Brown rather. But we got to sit back and think. I remember when I first heard, heard Shake your ass. And the first line on the song is, I came here with my D-I-C-K in my hand. And as a kid, I always thought, that was a wild ass line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and as a grown man, I still think that line, wild as hell. Now it all kind of seems crazy too for all this stuff. All these times he's been accused of rape. It really seemed wild. And I'm like, damn, are you really coming in the door like that with your joint in your hand thinking you finna just get pleased everywhere you go? Fam, knock it off. Knock it off, bro. This shit, this shit is crazy. You just keep finding yourself in these, in these situations. And it's hard for me to believe that everybody keep lying on you. Because I'm a firm believer of, yes, people lie. But where there's some smoke, if it's a keep all these patterns, 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 where there is some smoke, there is some fire. And again, Mystical is not this big mega star that people just trying to lie on. Mystical ain't had no hits since when I was a little shorty. So everybody ain't just, nobody just trying to lie on him and pick on him, I don't think, man. It's just, he got something wrong with him. He got predatory predatory ways. He don't understand no, he don't understand no means no. And he out here trying to take what he want. That's what it sounds like to me. You know, again, he's innocent until proven guilty. For sure. And if he's proven guilty and proven guilty firmly, I will come on this channel and say I was wrong. But for right now, from where my, how I can see it, from where my eyes are, like how I'm looking at this stuff, this shit like, man, bro, you got some foul shit on you, bro. You got some foul stuff on you. This ain't cool. This ain't cool. They're going to have to keep you up in there, man, because something ain't right. Something ain't right with how you keep getting a, how you keep getting charged with this stuff all the time. I don't know the, the people in the prison like, fam, how you keep getting in here with Ray, bro? We can't let you go now. This is what you do. I don't know, man. This shit is just crazy, man. Ah, this is crazy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.